Hey everyone, welcome back to Wizard Cat Gaming. I've got another Transformers box for you. So another whole booster box in search for uh, the Nemesis Prime and Autobot Cosmos. So yeah, so far I think this is my third booster box now, fourth booster box, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so 30 cards in each box, just so I can uh, do that hunting. Um, it probably will be my last Transformers box opening for a few weeks uh, in preparation for the new uh, Rise of the Combiners. So once I get a box of that, I'll be opening up on the channel with you guys. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you have, if no one, if you don't know, but you've been following Transformers, the Rise of the Combiner series is again the Combiner robots. Um, let's get straight into the first packet and. They've mentioned five combiner robots now, so starting off with Predator King, uh, Volcanicus, uh, Menasaur, Optimus Maximus, Superion, and they've recently announced a Sith, which is a expansion set, um, which is going to be Devastator, so excellent on that one, so hopefully in at the official six one that you can pull from the boxes will be someone else if not i'm still not still not upset i'm still going to be hunting for volcanicus so i can have all the dino bots again so we go back to the usual plans of lots and lots and lots of cardboard too much cardboard uh, again the seven pack battle cards and our first transformer pull is Starscream. Oh, sorry, Starscream? What was that Starscream for? Skywarp, my brain is not working this morning. Yeah, Skywarp, there we go. So, I think it's the second time I've pulled that one, so that's good. So I'm not getting that many duplicates. Let's hope that I don't have the same box as I had last time, where I was pulling almost a mirror box. Again, cardboard, cardboard, cardboard for everyone. Let's start selling cardboard to people. So, more battle cards, and the next one, Dinobot Slug. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping this isn't a mirror box from the last one because I know I pulled, I think I pulled Slug in that one as well. And the last one I did, which I'll post a link in the description if you haven't seen it already. And links to the other two videos I did for Transformers. Just a really nice artwork on the on the packets. So cardboard. Cardboard. Just just cardboard everywhere. Just, just let's just make it rain cardboard. Okay. More battle cards. And the next, Megatron, Decepticon leader. That's a good one. So yeah, as the game plays, you can actually do a double Megatron battle deck. So use Decepticon leader and living weapon. I know it might sound strange having two Megatrons on, on the field, but it's what you can do, providing they're not the, uh, the exact same character, you can put them in the field. So lots of cardboard again. A lot more of the battle cards. So no matter what you're going to pull out of the out of the booster packs, you always get a pack of seven battle cards and the holographic transformer card, be it Decepticon or Autobot. So this card is Flame War. So, definitely pulled a lot of Flame War. I think the first time I uh, actually got that card was on the front of a tabletop gaming magazine. It was like a little free giveaway. Which was the whole, re uh, the whole reason why I started getting to collecting the Transformers cards. Because uh, 
originally I was just using it as a bookmark along with I think there was a couple of other cards on there as well on the magazines that you can get so different cards for the, the same magazine for that uh, that month but the cards on front were different so it was a lot of hunting to find them but again I was using them as bookmarks before I decided to really get involved um, more battle cards again there are a few really good battle cards in the in the game series. Uh, my favourite one being now is I Still Function. It allows you to bring back one of your Transformers from the KO pile for one turn. So there are some really fun combinations you could do with that. Uh, okay, holographic card. So before I keep rambling, Autobot Jazz. And just so if you're still new and you haven't, unsure about the cards so again this star value here is the cards point cost you can only have a maximum of 25 stars for your deck and it even has it there as the uncommon transformer you got the CT which is the common transformer the RT is the rare transformer and the SRT is the super rare transformer or secret rare transformer um, for those ones, the SRTs, it's normally, you're supposed to actually get uh, one in every three booster boxes. So in the booster boxes I got previous, I actually pulled the super rares out, out of those ones. So, so having, that, having that in many in a row kind of defeated that. But let's see if it actually works on this one. If I pull a super rare out of this, then I definitely know that 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 doesn't actually work. Um, again, more battle cards, and we go with Sergeant Cup. So as you see there, CT, Common Transformer. Now I'm really looking forward to the Wave 2 Rise of Combiners, because I do, as I say, I want to get Volcanicus. The downside on that one is all the Dino Bots in that are rare Transformers, so it's going to be a a pretty costly but rewarding hunt unless I have a really, really, really good box and have all five of them in that. Again, battle cards. That's a really good battle card, so I'd always put two or three of those in your battle deck. So it allows you to play an action and then immediately play a second action and if need be it could be another one of them so you can get a few actions per turn um, okay Decepticon Deadlock I'll also put a link into the description of another fan of the Transformers tabletop game who has a lot more information that they can give um, I can also give you a bit more information on the abilities as well of the Transformers. Uh, you can also find the rules of play on the Transformers trading card website, which I'll also put a link in as well. Again, battle cards. Been waiting to get another one of these ones, just so I can build up the collection more. Dinobot Sludge. So, quite happy with that. Well, I say quite happy. I'm really happy with that one because I have built a uh, Dino Bot uh, battle deck up already, and Sludge is one of the uh, one of my bots in that. For its bit, I think I've got Sludge, Grimlock, and Snarl as my team in that one. More battle cards and. Autobot Hound. So yeah, just like the uh, get the camera there. Just like the holographic on those. So if you've not seen the holographics, it's pretty good. And that's another booster pack. More battle cards. You will get a lot of duplicates with the battle card so if you buy let's let's say you buy five booster packs 
um, you will get at least out of that five, you probably have, have at least seven duplicate battle cards, but they're what you actually need. So you can always have the same card, and it won't affect your game, uh, your play style at all. Uh, we've got another Megatron Decepticon leader. So it's looking like this box might be going a completely different way to my last ones. We can only hope. There's no point in keep showing you the battle cards because always going to get battle cards. But I will show at the end just how many or how big the stack can actually get. So this time we've got Autobot Mirage. Another pretty cool transformer to have in your deck, depending on how you want to build it. And you can field Decepticons and Autobots in the same battle deck. So you haven't got to... If you want to theme it by having Decepticons with Decepticons, Autobots with Autobots, you can do. But if you want to make a um, really fun uh, battle list that where one transformer card will complement another one but they're from two different factions you can do that there is no um, written rule against it okay let's go back we've got Insecticon Bombshell that's a pretty cool just bog standard no abilities on that card but it's still a really good just one hit card drop the power cards out of that one so I get those Got a lot of uh, empty packets to clear up. No more battle cards. And we have Prowl. Which I do quite like. This could actually be a box where I might not get the super rare Transformers. Or even rare Transformers for that one. So, more battle cards, and we have Insecticon Barrage. So, that's two Insecticons so far. So, we are now one half of the box in. Let's go to the other half. I was contemplating um, only doing half a box and then doing another video for the other half of the box, but... I didn't want to do that to you people. I wanted you to see the entire box being opened and I thought to myself, well, if I'll do that, but I'll take the break. Um, uh, so then wait for the second wave of the cards. Our cards, and we have Bumblebee. Obviously, probably everyone's favorite at the moment because of the new Bumblebee movie. Board, just drop the battle cards and we have another Autobot Hound there just in case you're wondering these are actually uh, Wizards of the Coast cards so if you if no one if you didn't notice where they were coming from or who their parent lot is it is still I uh, don't know if you can see that still Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast so again, Wizards, the people who do Magic the Gathering and did the early Pokemon cards. So you know they're going to be, uh, it could be a game that's going to be going on for a long time. There is a lot of source material they can use. I now have pulled a card that I have promised one person they get first dibs on. So if you're watching this, yes, you do get first dibs on this card. And I have got... For a third time, Grimlock. The Dinobot leader. So, I believe I've made someone very, very happy. Other than myself, because Grimlock is uh, one of the... If you were to buy the card separately, he is, I 
think, the third or fourth most expensive card to buy on its own. With Nemesis Prime being the number one and uh, Bumblebee Legendary Warrior being the second. Uh, more battle cards. And we've got Insecticon Ransack. So we're going with that one. And for the younger viewers, uh, we do have everybody's favourite Autobot hero, Optimus Prime. Well, might not be everybody's favourite, but it's still one of my favourite Autobot heroes. I still prefer Grimlock. Again, a, in the original series, a fire-breathing T-Rex. Battle cards, and we have Autobot Jetfire. You would not believe how many times I have pulled that one card out of a box. I think my most was seven times I pulled that card out of a box. Uh, it does work um, if you're wondering how the booster box works on. Um, Transformers of Decepticons and Autobots, you do get 15 of each in the box. So you have 15 Decepticons, 15 Autobots, just to keep things a bit balanced. We have Wheeljack. Which I would have liked to have seen. I, I know people probably don't like those movies much anymore, but I would like to have seen a really good Wheeljack in the Michael Bay movies. When I say a really good wheel jack, I mean a really good wheel jack, not, not all of a sudden it's going to be like a brand new fancy car. Uh, Dinobot Sweep. Again, I think I've got probably even some of the single boosters I've purchased over the course of the last couple of months. I think I've got probably about six swoops, so... It's still a good card to field in. Um, it could be in any battle deck, really. Oh, I now have. I was talking about it. I've got Megatron, Living Weapon. So that's two Megatron. So I can do a Megatron theme if I want to. Not going to, but I could. But that reminds me, I pulled Megatron Living Weapon and Grimlock in the last booster box I opened. So if it's going that particular way, it could be a, a strong possibility that might be, again, pulling a uh, Bumblebee Legendary Warrior. Which, in a way, I kind of don't want to. I want to get Nemesis Prime or Autobot Cosmos, but we'll see. I'd even settle for RC. All about cards, and we have another this time. This time we have a star screen, not a sky warp, a star screen. I'll even I'll even prove it. You can find it. See, sky warp, star screen. You can kind of see. I just looked at the image first, but I'm not going to take that. As an, I'm not going to excuse myself for that one. I should know better. Battle cards, and we got another bombshell. Lots more cardboard, lots more battle cards. It seems to be more of an Insecticon box because I now have a chop shop. There's a very strong possibility that I might make a Insecticon themed deck. More battle cards? Well, 
I pulled one star screen, I now have a second star screen, the second one in the set that you can get. So you got star screen, uh, what was it, air commander, and now the scheming second in command. So I've now got, as well, the last three booster packs. Can we get some magic in this and actually get one of the cards I'm after? There's a really strong possibility that we won't, but we'll see. We now have Demolisher. Which isn't too bad. You can actually do some really good themed, uh, as I say, themed battle decks. There's some, some cards that I'll show you here. See, in the description there. Here. What side? There it is. He's classed as a tank, obviously, in alternate mode. And same with Megatron in alternate mode. He's classed as a tank. And uh, based on that, you can do certain things. So with Demolisher, you flip him to that mode. You draw a card for every tank you've got. And then obviously going for Insecticons, the Insecticon kit back in bot mode does damage equal to the amount of Insecticons you start with. So if depending on how you want to do the game or how you want to build your deck, you can theme it around a particular Transformer that you want to do the damage or ones that you want to do defense and so on. Um, Ramjet. So going into that and now last pack can we get some last pack magic and actually get one of the cards I really want to get out of this set come on pray with me now yeah I'm watching you yeah, yeah definitely you I don't see you praying and we have it didn't work this time so, unfortunately, we have another flame war. So, no super rares in this box. So, but I did have a good run and getting super rares in my last boxes. So, it's about time that luck, that luck kind of changed. Um, I'll show you how big a stack of battle cards can look without knocking everything over. There we go. 30 packs of battle, deck, uh, battle cards and you only technically need I think it is that to play. So that is what's left over. But again, it's good to go into to dig, them all, dig out all the cards you want to theme your decks around. So, yeah. As I say, this will be the last Transformers video for the next few weeks. Just waiting until the Rise of Combiners comes out, so I can then get that on the sh um, on the channel. Um, there is has been, an, as I said, been announced Demolisher coming out as his own expansion, which will be coming out, I believe, towards the end of March. So that will also be purchased for the channel. And yeah, I'll also link in the description where you can actually buy these cards from, where I also buy the cards from which would be Magic Madhouse. They are very good with their pricing, their delivery, just their customer service in general. I haven't had a single problem, but yeah. So if you want to keep up to date with the Transformers trading card game, or if you just want to leave a, uh, leave some comments, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, maybe hit the subscribe button if you just want to keep on with that, just to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I can't really think of much else on, onto that one, just to let you guys just make the choice. Make the choice on uh, what it is you want, uh, would like to, if you want to see me keep opening Transformers cards. I have, I, I don't have a problem with that. I, I really do like that. Um, yeah. Uh, comment if you... Comment, actually. Yeah, definitely leave a comment if there's a Transformer 
that you would like to see in the card game or that you like that I've pulled out today. Until then, Autobots have always got to roll out.